The reason we're vlogging today is because... Our wardrobe has arrived. I'm really excited. It's from Ikea. Jade's got to build it. Our family friend's going to come over and help though. It's probably going to take them all day, no doubt. Anyway, I'm just going to make a cup of tea and some breakfast. Well, what do you want for breakfast, baby? Um, toast. You want toast? Okay. The house is an absolute mess. There's boxes everywhere. Clothes everywhere. We just need to get sorting, really. Because, what am I today? It's 84 weeks. Take four weeks, four days. Daddy. I am. And I went to labour with Rosa at 37 weeks. So we need to get we need to get sorted. I'm gonna make breakfast and then we will start building the wardrobe. If anyone watches our TikTok, um I did a video a couple of, uh was it a couple of weeks or was it last week? I think it was last week. So we ordered a wardrobe from ikea and it was supposed to come on the 6th of september and it didn't arrive i had no communication whatsoever so i called customer services like a day later and was just like hi what like what's going on basically they basically said yeah really sorry um some of your items weren't in stock when your order was being picked i was like okay fine fair enough these things happen so I said, oh, so are they in stock now? She was like, yeah, they're in stock now. I said, oh, so I assume it, it will be delivered in like a day or two then. No, it's not how it works here. I was like, all right, okay, so when am I gonna get my order? I've paid for it. She was like, the next available delivery day is the 19th of October, uh, 19th of September, which is like two weeks later. And I was like, well, that's a bit silly, but nothing you can do about it so yeah great can we deliver on the 19th obviously the queen's funeral was yesterday so it's arrived today on the 20th and they've forgotten the doors and i can't deliver them till the 7th of october so there's an update on ikea i understand that's their policy that's their process but your policy and process IKEA are shit. But lots of people have said, if you want something from IKEA, you need to go in. You need to go in and you need to get it. You need to, don't order online because it's a shambles. So we will never order online again, ever. I just want it done before baby girl's here. And that's not long, it's like four weeks away. But it's fine, Joe's cracking on with Amy building. We're just gonna build it and then- Have no doors. <laughs> have no doors for two weeks and our new beds come in between the 7th and the 10th so it could be that the bed and the doors are delivered at the same day but that's fine i wanted to my brain's not working i've literally had no sleep guys i don't know what i'm trying to say what are you trying to say puffy oh, i don't know oh yeah that was it i wanted to organize the girls wardrobe and chest of drawers but obviously everything from my and Jay's room have gone into the girls' room while they build the wardrobe, so there's no room for me to do that. I might be able to do it later, but if not, I'll do it tomorrow. So I can put like baby girls' vests and sleep suits and muslins and etc. in the in the chest of drawers. Um, just to keep things organized. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use one of the drawers for like nappies, wipes and stuff like that. So that was the plan for today, but I didn't really realise that they were gonna put everything in the girls' room, so there's literally no room. I'll show you in a minute when I go up. So yeah, I don't really know the point of this vlog, to be honest with you. I guess it's just a little day in the life. Hello, missus. What are you doing? You the cheeky baby. Hello, baby. You cheeky? Okay, so we've just received a big box in the post and it is actually a PR package from a baby company called Nigel. Nigel? 
I'm really sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. I've never actually heard of them before. Najel, N-A-J-E-L-L. Najel, Najel. Anyway, I thought we could unbox it together. First off, sleep carrier bedding. Organic cotton. Mm, they know us well. Sleep carrier bedding. What's a sleep carrier bedding? It's been, I feel like it's been so long since I've had a baby. Oh, that's very nice. Very soft. Little beanies. Oh. So cute. You We've got a wrap. Rats. Oh, lovely. It's really soft. I like that colour as well. Stunning colour. Oh wow. Blimey, we've been well and truly spoiled here. Mommy. Baby carrier. Stunning. I see. Okay, baby. It's a baby carrier for baby sissy. Oh god, it's folded so beautifully, I don't want to unfold it, but that is stunning. Oh, baby. The material's beautiful as well. Oh look, they, you can actually put it round you and they sleep in there. Oh, that's so cool and then you can put it in the pram. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my goodness, we are so lucky. And what's this? Fancy pillow. Oh, I love that. And I love the colour. Turn one nursing pillow inside. I feel incredibly spoiled and lucky. That is that is unbelievable. Babe, we have been so spoiled by this company. No, I'm not even joking. Oh, Sissy's hats. Sissy's hats. Yeah. I don't have a hat. This would probably fit you, to be honest, right? Do you want to try it on? No. <laughs> That's for Sissy's head, yeah. Yeah, that is actually quite small. Sissy, how had it come? Yeah. All day. Yeah, wow. All day. Right. That's amazing. So he's got to carry on building. God, I feel so lucky. There's two other boxes as well. Mom. Yeah, it is. It's another baby carrier. That's gorgeous. Carrier. Feels really nice. Colour's lovely. Oh, I could cry. I feel so lucky. Right, I thought I'd just show you the progress. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. You've not even seen it yourself, have you? No. So it's literally just going to look like that. There's going to be no doors, so we're just going to see all our clothes, all our drawers. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah, but that's fine because it comes on the seven. Yeah, well, at least it's so, coming. so just a little update. We popped into town. I went into Boots. I needed to get some nappies, wipes, cow pole because Rosa's got a bit of a cold, haven't you, darling? Yay. Popped into Gail's quick because I fancied a chai latte. So that's home of year now, isn't it? Nearly Christmas. Got a chai latte. Um, popped into cook as well and just got something for dinner because oh, I just don't, I really don't have the energy to cook. And Jay's got football training at 5.30. Doesn't normally get back until about half eight. So I got... Rosie, a cottage pie. I got myself, what did I get? Oh, a veggie spaghetti bolognese. So Jay and Amy have almost finished the wardrobe. Obviously, we haven't got any doors. So, um, they, it won't be fully complete today. I went through Rosa's pie box. So that's tidied. I mean, it's not that organised. It is actually organised, but because there's just so much, there's just so much in there that she has. So that's organised. Um, washing up, that, that still needs to be done, the clean clothes. Um, need to put the towels and bedding away. Need to hang out another washing as well. Um, beautiful singing, darling. Oh, here we are, look. So I've got 
got more pads. Three for two, darling, three for two. Um, just a bamboo toothbrush for my hospital bag. Paracetamol, like I said. Simple micellar water. Honestly, I've gone through so many different micellar waters and this is the only one that works on my skin. So, how popular little rosy room. Pampers wipes. And then, these oat cookies from Gales are so good. Okay. I've got some cardboard I need to cut up and put in a recycling bin. And then once Jay and Amy have done the drawers and the rails and the wardrobe, I'm then going to go and hang up all our clothes. So I'll take you with me. <laughs> Come on, here then. Say hello. Hey. Hello, everybody. Hey. Me and Amy have finished the wardrobe. Oh. Poppy, you filled them in, haven't you? I've not been really Yeah. Hard. I am actually really impressed. I didn't have high hopes. <laughs> because of the price, it was around about 800, 900, wasn't it? Yeah. I see you. Have you done a far? No. So yeah, look at it. So the only reason we actually found this was because of um, Kelly Enos. Okay. Put a picture up and was like, where the hell did you get that from? So you buy it in compartments and you can literally add okay. whatever you want to it. You can have you can have all drawers if you want just drawers. Yeah, We've gone for a basket at the bottom for our shoes. Sit down. Yeah, in the left look we haven't gone for anything at the bottom. Uh yeah. So this is it. The lights are an awesome um, feature. Feature. Like awesome. I just think for that sort of money, you just can't go wrong, really. Like, and it, it, it's good quality. I'll show you the drawers and that. They're soft clothes and everything. So they literally just open like this. And then close. That's my pepper, darling. He thinks because he's built a wardrobe, yeah, with Amy. That, that's your job done. He's not doing the clothes. He's going to tidy up. I did the clothes. No, you didn't. You put Why a couple of my t-shirts up. Are you joking, huh? Oh, yeah. What are you doing? She's like Miss Mrs. Still the Show now, isn't she? Oh, yeah, I'm going to show my eyes. No, don't touch the screen, Rosie. You'll make it dirty. You don't ever touch the lens, okay? Right, I better go put food on. I'll show you what we're having. Right, how do you have this, Pops? What a horrible angle. I'm, I'm a big fan of cook. Just gives you that home cooked sort of meal. Maybe it's because I'm lazy. I don't know. So, Rose has got sausage casserole. You want dinosaurs on TV? Right, hold on a sec then. There you go. Right, we're back in business. Okay, Poppy is having. I've got football training. Hence why I'm in my football kit, by the way. All right. Poppy is having veggie bolognese. A rich, slow cooked ragu of corn mince, red wine, and tomato served with whole wheat spaghetti and finished with regatto. Don't worry about the red wine because once you cook it, you cook the alcohol content off. Karen, I'm having chicken Dijon, which is marinated high welfare British chicken breast. High welfare. In a white wine and mustard sauce topped with buttered leeks and caramelised onions. Absolutely splendid. And some creamy mash. Mm, very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Hello, chicken again. That's me done. Get in the oven. Go upstairs. Help Poppy, because otherwise she'd just moan at me. Peace. Out. It's eight o'clock and I've literally had a shower 10 minutes ago. Got in my dressing gown. A clock. <laughs> Rose is brushing her teeth, aren't you, darling? Um, so, I'll show you, hold on. I've put all the clothes. All the clothes are up. 
obviously we just got to wait for the doors to come tomorrow we just need to take the rails down um i don't know what we're gonna do with them yet rose's room still needs a lot of love and attention uh, um i still need to do all their clothes these are the organizers i was talking about from amazon um for the girls chest of drawers um gonna purchase like baby vests sleep suits muslins we're thinking maybe get a little cute desk and put in our room we're not quite sure yet them filing cabinets i absolutely hate and jay adores that i just find them so just ugly and they're not staying in this room but me and jay need to find somewhere for them i suggested downstairs in the living room behind the door so you can't see he's like no nah, don't want them there so yeah Ooh. i don't know where we're gonna put them yeah so tomorrow i will crack on with the girls room and need to do a bit of organizing downstairs need to film some content and that's tomorrow so yeah i don't really know what this vlog was all about i hope you enjoyed it and we'll update you when the doors arrive if they arrive fingers crossed they do um yeah i'll update you i'm sure we'll do another little vlog when the doors are here and the girls room's complete Row careful darling and the girls room is complete baby. Baby, um, baby, baby. yeah rosie do you want to say good night darling Say so love you all. all uh, bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one.